Hello everyone and thank you so much for watching. So today I decided to make you a haul. It has been absolute ages that I didn't do a haul, so I just made a list of the last things I bought to be like haul slash review, I think. Okay, let me start by an item that I literally use every day. It's because it's so practical. It is my new phone case. So I don't have my phone in it because my phone, I'm filming with it because I broke my camera, <clears throat> if you already don't know the story. So it's from ZVE, Zone of Variety and Excellent. So basically the case is very secure. It holds, your, it holds your phone very well. It has a attachable strap. So basically what I use it for is like a second wallet. Here I have like my ID, my essential stuff. Look, I'll show you. So I basically have some money, my IDs and everything. And what it is amazing for, it's for example, um, when I go from a big gym bag to uh, a little purse to go out, a little purse, bag, a little bag to go out, I don't need to take my whole wallet, I just take this and that's it. This with my phone. Oh, also, if I want to go to the grocery shop, I have cash here, I have an ID, I have a credit card, so I have absolutely everything I need. So I just take this. And obviously with my phone in it. I will put you the links down below if you want to purchase it. I think it's really, really worth it. And also, let's talk about how cute it is. They have loads of colors, loads of different styles. And yeah, so I would definitely recommend the ZVE phone case. Since I got it two weeks ago, I'm not leaving it and I absolutely love it so one day uh i was like st uh, scrolling strolling whatever on cult beauty and i found these foundations that have a very high review and they are the ordinary colors one is high coverage foundation formula and the other one is serum foundation lightweight serum formula i got them both in the color 21y and they are too dark at the moment, but, but I already tried the full coverage one. And uh, it's a good foundation, I think. So it's pretty affordable, that's why I also picked it up. I was like, if it has such a good rating and it's so affordable. Oh, and by the way, for, for people who live in Europe, like, uh, I mean, excluding England, you know what I mean? Um, Beauty Bay and Cold Beauty are very, really advantages to shop on because uh, basically, uh, in England, you have uh, around 20% tax, which is super annoying and super high. At checkout, the price changed. Uh, depending on what you buy and the amount you buy, you may not uh, have to pay import tax. For example, in Switzerland, the import tax is since uh, 63 Swiss, which means that uh, everything underneath 63 Swiss, you don't pay tax on. So it's like basically 20% less than the price in England. Then I got the Becca highlighter in uh, Royal Glow. I already used it in a tutorial. I like it. I wouldn't say I love it. It's um, a highlighter that is, uh, it's like gold, but it also has like pinky peach tone. Oh, that's actually pretty glowing. I got a uh, bronzer that I never used yet. And it's the Terracotta from Guerlain. Looks like that. And I got it in the shade 07. It's called Deep Golden. Because in summer, let's be honest, I get quite dark. By the way, I'm keeping the most exciting item for the end, so stay around. Looks like that. I really like uh, Guerlain bronzing powders. And by the way, powder, bronzing powders is the thing I go through the fastest is like the only item I hit pan on. Next is the eyeshadow palette I used today. So it's the Norvina by Anastasia. Obviously I was gonna get it like, I mean, uh, I used it once today and I would say that it's not too easy to use. Unlike soft glam and um, it's just my first opinion, but still I'm biased. I don't care. I love this palette anyway. Like, I love it. I would recommend it. But it's like, it's 
a little bit challenging to use because, for example, uh, I used Dreamer and Wild Child, which applied amazingly. And then Rose Gold was like really crumbly and the brush wouldn't pick it up, so I had to wet it. And the some of the mats um, appeared darker when you applied them than what they are in the pan. But I don't care. Honestly, I don't care. I'm really biased. My opinion is that I love all Anastasia palettes. These are just the downfalls. I think the color combination is beautiful. The shimmer is beautiful. Everything is beautiful and everything is amazing because I love Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I still think Anastasia Beverly Hills has the best eyeshadow formula out there. They are the ones I use the most all the time and everything like that. I also got these Zara earrings. The fashion is back. Big earrings are in fashion again. I think it's good for like summer. And yeah, it really makes an outfit, I think. It's a cute thing. Then I got some juicy shakers from Lancome. They were like on sale because I think they're discontinuing some colors. And I didn't lie to you, I really like them. So I got Lemon Explosion 300, Wonder Melon 352, and Vanilla Pop, which is like, I already have it, but I got it a second time because I almost, I'm almost done with that one. Um, so yeah, uh, <laughs> this is uh, Wonder Melon. Uh, they're all pretty sheer, they're just like amazing to wear around the house or to the gym. And uh, I would really, really recommend them. I'm, I probably already bought like 12, 15 of those. So yes, then what do I have? Oh yes, yeah, so for traveling and also for making makeup on other people, I got myself this. It's just like a little makeup case and I think it's very, very cute. Like why not? It's an extra uh, organizational thing. So yeah, really love that. Next item, I have a perfume. Is the YSL Manifesto Lecla. It's an eau de toilette and it smells just amazing. It's like vanilla, amberish, deep, oriental, and a little bit floral. I absolutely love it. And I also got the original version. When it came out, when I tried it out, I wasn't too sure, but it actually evolves very well with the, with the time. It has a like Dior Addict slash uh, Hypnotic Poison vibes from Dior. And uh, yes, I absolutely love it. It's, it's very, very nice. It's, I wear it quite a lot these days. I have a pair of new shoes. So they are from Christian Louboutin. And they are in the style Corsenko. Like, you know what I mean? Like corset for the ankle kind of thinking. And they look like that. I know that in my Louboutin videos, I, I said that I wouldn't get low heel Louboutins anymore. But look at this, I absolutely love them. And by the way, they're in size 38. Uh, when I ordered them, it was on the outnet and they were recommending to take uh, a full size or half a size smaller and I'm usually at 37, 37 and half. So um, they actually fit me perfectly. So these are them. And they are um, 10 centimeter heel. You know, like, uh, I'm so bad on the strategy to put back the shoes in a box. Uh, when, I w I w uh, when I was younger, I was working as a sales rep and um, I was selling shoes and I was always like hesitating how to put it the right way. But first world problems, right? So yeah, this is everything for my haul. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe to my channel. I would absolutely love that. And see you in my next one.